Okay, so here's the aquaponic system. Uh, got a bunch of compact fluorescent lights up here. Uh, they're varying light temperatures, so we get a full spectrum of light. Uh, you got some bright light, cool light, and uh, they're sort of mixed in there. Then uh, down here, we've got the grow beds, which are 50 gallon drums uh, that have been cut in half. And they're filled with these uh, expanded clay pellets, which are lightweight and porous. Uh, gives the bacteria a place to grow. Uh, so basically, put your plants in there. There you've got some uh, mint, uh, broccoli. Uh, I got some uh, oh, that stuff? parsley back there. And we're just starting out with some tomatoes over here. Um, then over here, we've got, it makes the whole thing work, a giant fish tank. And in here, we've got our fish. And the fish basically swim around in there. And uh, the, the water gets pumped, or actually it gravity feeds. Uh, the gravity feeds from those tubes down through these pipes here into the sump tank. Can't really see anything in there. Uh, that's the sump tank down in there. Um, I've got a big pump and uh, basically pumps water back out into the fish tank. And then there's another line that comes back in to relieve some pressure because it's a 3,000 gallon per hour pump, which is a little bit big. And then some of the water comes through these hoses here, comes through the hoses into the grow beds and basically it comes out of these hoses or these tubes here and you can adjust the flow rate with these valves essentially what happens then is the water fills up this grow bed and it's set up with a bell siphon so essentially what happens is the water fills up in here we've got a uh, piece of PVC pipe with a cap on it you can see right here with some holes drilled in it and down inside is a standpipe so when the water level reaches the top of that standpipe the outside atmospheric pressure since this is sealed uh, basically pushes the water from that siphon and it comes all the way back down these hoses here and back into the uh, main sump tank and uh, you can kind of see it draining there a little bit. So basically the plants take the water from the fish tank, which the fish have fertilized, pumps it through the plants, and that fertilizes the plants. The plants clean up the water, it gets dumped back into the tank and the whole system circulates. And then also what I've added over here, I'm gonna start growing some lettuce. I've added these long PVC tubes. You can see a tube way down on the back there. And what happens is water, as you can see, fills these up and they stay flooded most of the time. And then the water drains back down here. Whereas these fill and drain and fill and drain in probably about 15 minute cycles. And the idea is there that a lot of plants don't like their roots in water at all times, but lettuce does. So over here, I haven't gotten the baskets yet. I was trying with this one, um, but it's the wrong size. Basically, we get little baskets. Uh, we'll drop in these uh, jiffy pots, uh, which is what I've got the um, native starting in here. Uh, drop those in a little basket, and they will be submerged in these at all times with the water that's flowing through from the aquarium or the fish tank. And that provides all the nutrients and whatnot uh, for the plants that will be growing here. So I've just got two systems. I've got the flood and drain, good for pretty much everything. And then what would be similar to a raft system or a fully submerged. And uh, I'm gonna add on to these basically and build a big A-frame with a whole bunch of rows of them. Because you can grow uh, heads of lettuce at a pretty high rate of speed here. Uh, so yeah, basically a big 270 gallon tote uh, with fish in there. All the plumbing, lots of lighting, cords, and uh, all the lights are on a timer, or a couple of timers. And uh, I've got the uh, lighting rack on ropes here, so I can adjust the height as the plants grow. And they're on about 14 hour cycles uh, through the day, so lights stay on for 14 hours and they shut off for a little while. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the basic system here. See the fish running around in there.
Got goldfish in there right now. It'll get 12 to 14 inches long. Uh, I'm going to be adding some tilapia uh, at some point. I uh, haven't done it yet, but... Oh, yeah, and this is the automatic fish feeder here. Uh, it's set up to uh, feed the fish at certain intervals, so I don't have to do it. Or I can just feed them extra, as you can see there. Oh, yeah, and then also, I've got a big air pump over here, which uh, supplies air uh, into the sump tanks, and then also down into the aquarium so the fish don't come in there. So there you go. There's a basic tour of the setup.